All right, folks, thank you for tuning in. Today, we're going to call out some piece of shit parents and some piece of shit humans in general. A lot of what we're going to talk about today is crimes against children, the unthinkable. This shit pisses me off. I saw or heard about it, and I wanted to bring it up to y'all's attention. So what we're going to be talking about is the five-year-old boy Garnett Spears. He was born in 2008, December 3rd. Hey, he's a Sagittarius. He was murdered in 2014. He was a five-year-old boy who died at the hospital in Valhalla, New York. He was murdered by his mother, Lacey Spears, who injected him with high levels of sodium, leading to swelling in his brain. You may ask, how did she do that? Well, basically, she had a case of Manchurian syndrome. Munchausen syndrome by proxy. Basically, it's a psychological and behavioral disorder where somebody fabricates or induces symptoms or illnesses to themselves. But in this situation, it's um, Munchausen's by proxy, which means they are doing it to somebody else like their kid or, you know, they don't get better and they, they just, they don't want them to get better. And basically they want their kid to be sick. I don't know if it's for attention, but it is a psychological issue that is, creates them to do the fucking unthinkable all right so i'm going to actually start this off by playing the video of him of her poisoning him basically straight up okay so some way some sort he has a feeding too so and and we're going to watch this video. I didn't know the machine was hooked up to video. Yes, video. Frame by frame, the final moments of Garnett's life. We want to warn you, some of the images are graphic. The video begins when Garnett checks in on Friday. And it records through Sunday when doctors and nurses tell Lacey that Garnett is healthy enough to go home. After medical personnel leave the room, Look. Lacey appears to take Garnett to the bathroom, just outside of camera range. But when they come back into frame... When he came back out of that wow. bathroom, a few seconds, minutes, he turned into the most wow. sick child, burying his head this into unbelievable. the bed, the pillow, turning, retching. He was trying to throw up, but we've already know that he couldn't throw up because... At nine months old, he had an operation that kept him from throwing up. Seems dangerous. It's something to not be able to throw up. Haunt me. It was probably the, it's the worst video. It's we actually had to watch a video of a five-year-old child being murdered. Unbelievable. Lacey is arrested and charged with murder. Yeah, so she was charged with second-degree murder, um, and she was found guilty. Um, and we will kind of go into more of that, but I did have another video, um, of the poisoning. I feel like it was a better, and you want to know what's really fucked up. Great news. The kid is ready to go home. And then she just pulls him into the, into the bathroom and all of a sudden he dies. It's just ridiculous. You know, um, So here's a video I'm going to play. I think this might be her defense attorney kind of kind of trying to um, defend her, which I mean, he's got some good points. Juror of the bathroom in the hospital. And it's just absurd that any juror could determine that she would go into that bathroom with anybody being able to walk in with the bathroom door wide open and just just walk in on her and poisoning her son. This is a dumb plan. With the door wide open. Right we talked about yeah look she she's got a cup right there so they were that. saying that that so cup bizarre. i mean right exactly. is full of salt is what they said i mean the whole thing makes no sense the end of this tube is so small that's the feed that how do you take a hard plastic cup and pour some sort of substance down the tube overcome it's probably, it's probably liquefied the pressure exerted by garnet's stomach at the other end of this tube right and force fluid within just a few minutes into i mean who knows i mean that must that that's somebody defending her and it's very possible um but there's i had a good video a good video of it 
of basically you can kind of see um what's going on but uh here we go let's see what else we got so munchausen's by proxy yeah i i thought i had a better view i don't know i'm struggling to find it but anyways yeah i mean that's just the biggest piece of shit move you could ever do and there's a friend of hers that's saying that she tried to drown him before um who knows but Here's a video I want to play. Let's see. He wasn't eating, and he was failing to thrive, and he was getting all these infections and everything. This will be just one of dozens of trips they will make to the doctor to address Garnett's growing list of mysterious health issues. The doctors were baffled by the various diseases, which were inexplicable. Most notably, Lacey told doctors that Garnett would not eat. Then this unusual request. Now, he had a feeding tube at one point. That was uh, put in about when he was eight months old. She asked to be have a feeding tube put in because she said he was a failure to thrive child. But Lacey didn't stop there with her son's surgeries. And he also had another procedure to close up his throat so he couldn't regurgitate. Jesus, this sounds dangerous. That's right. Now, Garnett will be fed through a tube and is no longer able to throw up. What his little saying. body is forced to ingest everything his mother is feeding him. Unbelievable. She wanted to be able to... Imagine, you know that feeling when you eat a little bit too too much salt or just kind of feel like swollen. Salt kind of swells up your ankles. It can. Imagine being overdosed on salt. That is so fucked up and you can't puke. That just seems dangerous to me to have a surgery that makes it so you cannot vomit. I don't know. Call me, call me fucking crazy. Control what he ate. All right, here's a better angle of the Ian video. From Garnett's daily diet. Doing this might an be the same angle. Actually, Garnett's kindergarten teacher also happened to be a nurse. She said he was on an EEG, and we said, frame by frame, the final moments of Garnett's life. We want to warn you: some of the images are graphic. To show what appears to be a feeding. T- um. I, I think uh, she looked a little scared one time. She looked mad at other times. And um, once or twice she cried a little bit. But in court, prosecutors slowed down that video to show what appears to be a feeding tube and some substance in Lacey's hands when she returned from the bathroom with her five-year-old son. Oh, yeah. Prosecutors claim that just off camera in the bathroom, Lacey gave Garnett a lethal dose of salt which moments later caused his brain and to she's swell sitting here crying. and oh my ultimately God. killed him. But there's oh more. My God. The videotape evidence also shows Lacey on her phone doing Google searches. She had been on the phone, laying in the bed, what and we observed that. Shit. Some of those searches were salt poisoning. On the phone at the oh time. My on God. the phone, we can connect oh. the time of the phone to the video and the search that she was doing. Unimaginable. He had a right to grow up and a right to grow old. And she stole that from him. Lacey Spears is found guilty of depraved indifference murder of a child. Instead of nurturing and protecting a beautiful child, you subjected him to five years of torment and pain. One does not have to be a psychologist to realize you suffer from a mental illness known as Munchausen by proxy. What does this Munchausen's video by proxy. Well, watching it uh, in court, uh, it was brought tears to many of the jurors. How that important is fucking was that sickening. Video? Look at this. this. Uh, I think uh, between the video and the and the amount of salt found. They had just said he's ready to go home, and then all of a sudden she goes in the bathroom with a feeding tube and a cup, and he's fucking dying. That's terrible. And then the feeding bags were the, were the uh, icing on the cake, if you will. She's sentenced to 20 years to life in prison. Yeah, is she should a get life. Killer? I believe she is. She sat... In that hospital right there room. look at her crying look at her right there you bitch and watched him die Unbe- she watched his fucking life slip away when there's a chance that if she would have stepped up and told them what she did may have changed the outcome unbelievable this shit is disgusting man and you know i get riled up when i watch these videos i have a five-year-old myself and i cannot even fathom doing anything to hurt him. All right. 
this is just disgusting. All right, so here's the verdict. We're going to watch the verdict. A note from the jurors to the judge, and it said, we have a verdict. Members of the jury, answering through your foreperson, how say you as to count one, murder in the second degree, not guilty or guilty? Guilty. Is guilty! Woo! I know this was in 2004, but I fucking don't like her. Lacey Spears, I do 27 not like years her. old. She barely flinched. It was her father there and her sister, uh, the father's daughter. They sought comfort on each other. In fact, it was Lacey's sister when the verdict was read who shouted out, oh, my God. Court officers then took the 27-year-old mother back to jail. Her sentencing is scheduled for early next month. Dunzo. That's it. That's it, folks. And that that is a video that'll piss you off. What a I've been seeing a lot of this Munch Munchausen's syndrome. Basically, these mothers just want their children to be sick for I don't know, maybe attention. Not exactly sure. Lacey Spears did speak out, and we might have a, a couple good comments of her talking about what happened. But anyways, let's see here. Let's see how she feels about all this. His death certificate says homicide. Yeah, because you killed Much him. Much of Garnet Spears' oh, young so... life was spent seeking medical attention for often unexplained health issues. He was in and out of the hospital for the first nine weeks of his life. And the biggest problem we had was we couldn't get him to eat. So he was... Here's what I don't get. If he's unable to eat, how does he how is he overdosing on sodium? There's not that doesn't make sense. If you're not eating, you can't overdose on sodium. I don't think you can just naturally produce 160 levels of sodium whatever it means, but basically overdose levels. It doesn't make sense, lady. He was losing weight. Garnet had surgery at 9 months old to insert a feeding tube. They were hopeful that within time, he wouldn't have so much problems eating. In January 2014, five-year-old Garnet was taken again to a hospital. <clears throat> he was admitted with seizure-like symptoms. Later, during that hospital stay, Garnet is in distress, stops breathing, and tests showed high levels of sodium. Yeah, I mean, if he's not eating... It just doesn't add up to me. Anyways. All right, folks. That's the case of uh, Garnett Spears, mother, mother Lacey Spears, who killed him by injecting him with soda, sodium. Um, she um, basically got uh, convicted of second degree murder. Um, and therefore, she did not get the maximum of 25 years in prison before parole. I, I don't know. Anyways, all right, folks, she's due for parole in 2034. So 10, 11 years from now, that psychopath is going to be out. Anyways, thank you for tuning in. Like, subscribe, share the channel. Peace.